Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today we're gonna to do the cover of our pocket file number 07. Okay, and there's the prints. So it looks like folded on that side, and then folded on that side. That's all it's on there. Okay. Now we're gonna make a corn cornucopia. Okay, and I just wanted to give you a little research on that because I thought it was interesting. Corn you, corn you copia is from Latin. Corn you means horn and copia means abundance. Also cord, called corn, sorry, also called horn of plenty was a symbol of abundance, nourishment, commonly a large horn shaped container overflowing with produce, flowers, and nuts, baskets, or Pioneers of this form were traditionally used in Western Asia and Europe to hold and carry newly harvested food products. The horn-shaped basket would be worn on the back or slung around the torso, leaving the harvesters hands free for the picking. Okay, I thought that was interesting. Just a little history. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use yellow for the middle only because we're putting it on this so I want yellow I guess I could use orange but I think I want yellow we'll decide so we're gonna ink this up with two different yellows one is archive chrome yellow and one is scattered straw distress oxide from Ranger okay I'm gonna do this one first I think I don't know how bright the other one is always looks brown every time I must have got brown in there maybe I should just do the other one I even got a new one and it still looks brown so I must have got brown in there so we're gonna skip that one I even got a new dauber out for that so we're gonna go back to this one the distress oxide ranger and hopefully there's no brown in this one yeah, that looks more yellow. Get that up really good. I'm not getting no yellow look I want though. I wanted yellow. Alright, lemonade. I found one. I knew I had a brighter one. Squeeze lemonade. Distressing. Ranger. So, there we go. I guess I should have looked harder <laughs> than I did, but at least we're getting the yellow in there now. As you tell, I really wanted that yellow in there. Okay, what I wanna do is I'm gonna go around the black lines with brown, then I wanna go over them with royal gold, okay? And I don't know what brush yet we're gonna use. I'm trying to get some in the lid, but it's not working. So I think I'm gonna start with this and see how that goes. And I don't know if it's gonna go because I kind of want the yellow on the edge showing.
think that's good. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna go over just in the little grooves with some gold. Okay, beautiful beings, we're gonna add royal gold to our corn eucobia. <laughs> And I'm just gonna try to very easily get right in here. Oh, you know what? I think that's mixed with something else. Because that's not my gold. But now that I started, I'm going to have to keep going. That's not my gold. So I'll just put gold on top of this. I think I mixed that with something that was running out, apparently. So we'll just have three different colors going around. It's fine, just the way it is. We're gonna let that dry. Okay, beautiful beings. This one, I'm doing another corner pocket. I just cut that off of there. And then I'm going to put this in a piece of junk mill, like how to have it, this way, no, this way. And I'm going to glue that onto the junk mill and cut it out and then I'm going to paint it. Okay, now we're going to use real bronze metal, <laughs> metallic on our corn eucopia. I'm just going to, I think I might want it, I don't know. Let's do that, I kind of wanted gold all the way around it. You know, just, just a little gold here and there. I'm thinking I would like it on the outside. that dry and start another pocket. All right, so I'm gonna use this color, Golden Sunset, and try to hide the words. It's working up there, but it's not working down here. So I don't know how many layers I would have to use there. And I didn't think this was gonna be such a hassle, but Maybe that's the problem. I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't think about what was on the envelope. So I'm just going to put a thick out there and see what happens. And try to cover it like this. And then when it's almost dry, I will run the brush through it again. It's kind of working. Go with that. I just don't want it too thick because then I'm afraid it's gonna chip if something hits it just right, like a nail or a pen or whatever you're doing in the journal. It, it's pretty much covered. Don't really care about this, just so you can't really see what it is, but. There's something, you know. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit a minute, and then I'm gonna go over it with the other color. And hopefully, that will do it. Okay, got a piece of cardboard. Went around the edges to make a circle look. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to modge bodge it up and stick it to a piece of paper that I have marked. Okay, I put Maj Baj on the edges because I am going to wrap this paper around this pocket. Okay? And I got it marked. And we're going to put it right out 
there. Hopefully I didn't glue it down to the table. Oops. I'm just going to put some glue on the edges. Make sure they're nice and tight. here and here Tuck those up that's gonna go in Then I'm just gonna go around the edges and make sure they keep their shape. It's raining today, this morning. It's like almost seven o'clock in the morning. Huh. And it's drizzling outside. And there's our pocket. Now, I have a young, beautiful pilgrim woman. I'm gonna move it down. I'm not jerking. And I'm just gonna go around her with this gel pen. My favorite gel pen. And in here, <laughs> I was trying to make it look like there was green behind them. So I'm just gonna fill that in. Cover up that green a little bit. Which one's brown? Probably raise you back up now. I'll show you a close up after I get them done. That's the brown. Yep. Vintage photo. Take that and go around his antlers very carefully. Or I could probably do it this way, hopefully. Get in there if I turn it. I just turn it. Because I don't want to rip. The antlers like I ripped the turkey's leg off. <sighs> and it didn't work. So I'm gonna do it this way. Yeah, his antlers. See, I want to see how they blend in with the green. That's why I wanted to put green there. Because he's going there. Now let's see if we can fix her up. Just get the white off the sides. This one will be easy. Not too much effort. Maybe in there. Maybe in there. And she's got some kind of flowers, but it might even be like a a bush that is for tea, herbs for tea, to make tea or something. She's gathering in her apron. If anybody knows, leave it in the comments, please. <laughs> I 
they used to gather. Might be for flavoring for food or it might be for tea. Not sure. Down, jerking all around. <laughs> all right. oh, I should put my lid on my lodge. Okay. So I want her about there, and I wish I had those little bushes. I had a stamp that had something that looked like them, but they're way bigger, and it just wouldn't look right. So I'm just going to be simple with this one. Simple, simple, simple. And I'm just going to leave it as is like this. I think it has plenty of detail enough on it. I don't want to get carried away. Sure, I get the edges, but I'm not gonna push them down. I'm gonna let them sit for a couple minutes. I just want to make sure she's glued down very well. And I think I want her about there. And she's just watching the deer in the woods, not moving, letting him do his thing why she does her thing and she's just watching the deer and the deer isn't scared of her at all <laughs> they're just appreciating each other's company wondering what it's like to be human and wondering what it's like to be a deer. That's my story. <laughs> and we'll put him right there. Just a simple cut out pocket with a background. How's that there? See? Simple. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. See, his antlers kind of blend in. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> that green background that's what I was going for all right and there's that one now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this thing I think I'm not putting a bird on it but we'll see okay beautiful beings here's our envelope that we cut and then we stuck junk melon and glued it down onto it and I painted it up did a little you know pattern two colors now I want to glue her down here I want her right there so I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of her and put it down then I'm gonna tuck in flowers die cuts okay We covered up her spoon. Don't want her spoon covered up. Something's got her attention. And she looks shocked. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a bear. <laughs> a little story there. And then I wanted this glued down. So I'm gonna put some glue on this. I'm gonna have to get the 
glitter glue out. This matches perfectly. That was not planned. Put that there. Right. Then we have words. So let's get them started. For those who are new to my channel, it's Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Adhesive. Okay. And what I want to do is put this under them, coming down. So let's peel them up a minute. I screwed that all up, and I I should have put that down first. It's gonna go up like that. Now I probably need a little bit more glue here. Alright, let's get this right here. That needs moved up. Every time I touch it, I get glue on my fingers. There. May you have peace and plenty for Thanksgiving. Maybe there. Maybe there. I wanted to use them all up, but looks like I'm gonna have one left over. I don't know if two would look terrible or not. Put one this way. I was gonna do that. I should have put that on top. Maybe we'll put this up here. Everything is glued down. Just gonna give you a close up. And here's that pocket. Now we might as well glue the pockets in because we are done. We are, we are. So let's move this down. Move you up. But I want you to be able to see this part right here. That's so all I'm going to do is make sure that's in the middle. And I'm going to glue this down here. Just like that. And cut some off right there. Just hoping these all my scraps up again because these are scraps. I'm taking that for that to get tacky. Got them right down the middle. Don't want to get my hands all gooey. <laughs> lot so it doesn't go anywhere unless somebody rips it off and hopefully they will not do that <laughs> that's gonna go right there just like that Move over here glue this down some more scrap. And there's that. Now, I'm gonna glue 
this down. We want to make sure it's right there. Right across here. I'm using again a lot. And so nothing in this pot in this pocket file. Just gluing everything up really good. and it's not on the fold. Alright, now let's get you a close up. Could never get a close up of these ones up here, huh? And this is kind of wonky because it's what's on the other side. Yeah, that's gonna be wonky to glue. I think because of that pocket on the other side and then last but not least this is going to be glued up here because it's going to be a top tuck okay and i just want it right inside like that. I'm gonna have to set something on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. I love that. I think that's awesome. And then over there. Okay. And when this is dry, I'll give you the final reveal. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's our Final pocket file file for 2022. Okay, and I got it fully stuffed pack. Show you how much stuff will fit in here. Corns and corns. Even a notebook. Close up, and I forgot to tell you, the farmer's market, I made a video making these, and I totally forgot to tell you, so I'll put that in the description below. We made three of them in that video, okay? Little turkeys, farmer's market, local fresh, okay? And we got our quarter pocket up there. With a girl lady pouring soup. Acting, acting really surprised. Hopefully it's not a bear. Hopefully just one of the kids fell in the mud or something. <laughs> you may be. May you have peace and plenty for Thanksgiving Day. Okay. And we got our top pocket with a woman watching the deer. And a deer knowingly knowing she's watching the deer peaceful very peaceful and i left that open there so if they wanted to write something in there and then we got our cornucopia okay give you a close-up of that because i don't think i did once i got it done lots of texture in there Okay, and there you go. I hope you try to make some. Now we have to say goodbye to November and hello to December. Now I gotta get ready for Christmas. <laughs> have a wonderful everything.